So we have a particle P of weight 300 newtons. So I'm going to draw that on the diagram. That goes downwards. And that is hanging in equilibrium by two light inextensible strings, which lie in the same vertical plane. It is further given that AP forms an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical wall. We have that on our diagram. And BP forms an angle of theta with the horizontal. We also have that on our diagram. We want to work out theta and the tension in BP. So let's draw that tension. That's T. We're trying to work out what that is. If the tension in AP is 120. So both of these strings will pull particle P. So the tension here will be 120 and pointing towards A. So I think what I'm going to do for this question is draw a force diagram, a separate force diagram on the right. So it's a bit easier to break this down. So here is T, and then we have the angle to the ceiling, that's theta. We then have the 120 Newton force. And then we are given an angle to the vertical, that is 60. And we also have our weight force, which is 300 downwards. OK, so if I were to draw a triangle like this, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get angles about the center point. So it's a bit easier to, to work these things out. So considering that triangle that we have there, this angle here would be 30 degrees as all the angles must add up to make 180. And if I continue this line across, here we have the Z rule coming into play. And that would mean that this angle here is theta. So what we can do is, or what we're going to be doing is, we're going to be resolving the forces in both the vertical and the horizontal directions. And the reason we're doing that is because if this system is in equilibrium, then that means that all the forces in the vertical direction should sum to zero, and all the forces in the horizontal direction should sum to zero. And that's the case for any object in equilibrium. If an object is in equilibrium, then the resultant force in any direction should be zero. And to show an object is in equilibrium, we have to pick any two perpendicular directions and find the resultant force in each direction to be zero. So the sum of the forces in each direction will therefore be zero. We're going to consider that in the vertical direction, so, if I consider this triangle here, I already have a triangle there. So using Sokotoa, this side is the opposite in this triangle. So here's my angle. This is the opposite to that side. This is the adjacent. And if we know that our hypotenuse is T, we can use the shortcut and say that this will just be T sine theta. The reason I know it's sine is because, well, if we think about so katoa, sine involves the opposite. We have the hypotenuse t, so this will end up being t sine theta. And if this is the adjacent, that will end up being t cos theta. So the shortcut basically works like this. If you have the hypotenuse and you're trying to work out either the opposite or the adjacent, they would be equal to either t sine theta or t cos theta. If it's the opposite side, it will be equal to t sine theta, because sine is the one that involves the opposite. And if it's the adjacent side, it will be equal to t cos theta, because cos is the one that involves the adjacent. And if you're not sure about how this works, draw out a triangle, with this being theta and this being t, and then do the normal Sokotoa rule, so sine theta would be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Bring the t over, and you get t sine theta is equal to the opposite. If you did the same thing with the adjacent, you will find that the adjacent is t cos theta. We can do the same thing for this triangle. So this side becomes 120 cos 30. That's the adjacent side to the 30 degree angle. This is the opposite side to the 30 degree angle. So that will become 120 sine 30. And in terms of the directions of these components, so the t cos theta goes towards the right, the t sine theta goes upwards, those two will add up to make this vector. 
and then for the 120 Newton force, for the components of that, the 120 cos 30 goes towards the left, the sine 30 part goes downwards, and those two will add up to make this 120 vector. So how you can think about the directions is if our arrow goes from, let's say, this purple dot in the center to this orange dot here, then the arrows that we have here must flow in the same direction. They must take us from the purple dot to the orange dot. And it's a similar kind of thing with the other vector. Starts at the purple dot, let's say, and ends at the orange dot. That's the direction in which the 120 points. And so these two arrows should flow in that same direction and take us from purple to orange. Okay, so now for our equation. We can equate the vertical components and we can equate the horizontal components. So in the vertical direction, the upward force, the only upward force, is T sine theta. And there are two downward forces. There's the 300, and there's also the downward component of the 120 Newton force. And then for the horizontal direction, there's only two forces. There's T cos theta, which goes towards the left, and 120 cos theta that goes towards the right. So those two should be equal in magnitude. They will cancel out. So those are our two equations, and from these two, we're going to be solving them simultaneously to work out what theta is and to work out what tension t is. The easiest way that we can do that is to divide the two equations. So if I have t sine theta all over t cos theta, that's this over that. The t's cancel, and the left-hand side just then becomes tan theta. And for the right-hand side, we have 300 plus 120 sine 30 all over 120 cos 30. And if we were to type that into our calculator, we would end up with 2 root 3. So then theta would be inverse tan of 2 root 3. And this will give us an angle of 73.9 degrees to one decimal place. We can then work out t. We can put it back into one of the equations. I'll pick equation 2. So t cos the angle that we just worked out, 73.89, etc., is equal to 120 cos 30. Divide the right-hand side, or divide both sides, by the cos 73. And then this will give us a value of 375 to 3 sig figs.